government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. So a couple things real quick. It's very important while you're reloading, I'll show you this once I get everything reset, to pay attention to what's happening. You want to make sure that you do get a primer set in every casing. You want to make sure that the powder gets dropped into every casing. Um, and you need to make sure that your bullet gets dropped. I'll show you that a little bit later. In order to check myself and instead of having to lean over and visually inspect every casing after the powder is dropped, I got this, it's called a powder cop. And what this is gonna do is once I get powder into my casing, I can progress this forward and show you what this powder cop does. When I raise this, you can see this little rod goes down inside and as the powder pushes up, I have this little black rubber band that I can move and I can set it at the same height as the rubber band on the white in order to ensure one that this raises which means it does have powder in it and two when it raises pretty close to this or not close to this i know there's not enough powder in it i need to stop what i'm doing and i need to uh, do some checks and reevaluate what's going on all right and in my next spot i have an rcbs bullet drop the way I set this up is I get my shell under there and you raise it to the top and then you screw it in until you feel or see or hear one of the bullets drop and it should be seated on said bullet. Right there. Voila! And then our CBS recommends turning it in another quarter turn. And I will lock it in place. Alright, next I have to set my bullet seating die. So I'm going to move. Almost. There we go. Move it over here. I'm going to raise it to the top and I'm going to make sure my seating adjustment is almost all the way out so I don't accidentally seat it too deeply. And then can go ahead and lock it in place. One point two one nine five. So that's half of a thousandth off from what I want. That is insignificant. So now I'm happy with it. So next we will move on to crimping. All right. Next I'm going to set my factory crimp die. Raise the shell plate. Screw it in until it just makes contact. Back it out just a tiny little bit, maybe a sixteenth of a turn. Lock it in place. Back my crimp height all the way out. And I'm going to twist this in until I feel it make contact. Right there. And I'm going to back off and I'm just going to go in small increments, maybe an eighth of a turn until I can see the crimp that I'm wanting. And you can see it's just starting to crimp. And I'd like a little bit more. So that looks pretty good. Let's see if I can get this to focus for you. Not sure if you can see that, but it has a nice small little crimp up top. 
it's no longer mushroomed out so I'm happy with that so now we have everything set I'm going to reinstall my sizing and depriming die and I'm going to get set and I'm going to run through a few iterations for you and you can see how it all works